Good morning, you guys. Today is the day we are uh, making over our living room as well as kind of making a little playroom for a little girl. Yeah. Tati, can you say good morning? Can you say good morning? So she just woke up from her uh, first nap not too long ago and uh, she slept an hour and a half, which is amazing. And soon at like 11, 11.30, I'm going to give her her first meal of the day. So we do baby led weaning, as you guys know. And um, I give her two meals. So once around 11, 11.30. Um, and then once, which is like lunch. And then once again at dinner time, which is 5, 6. And today, I don't know what I'm going to make, but... I'll be sure to show you guys. And she actually got her new high chair and we bought a lot of stuff from Ikea. And um, we bought like her drawers for her little playroom. And we bought her the antelope high chair from Ikea. And she loves it. So we're gonna be showing you all that. And we have to clean this messy room up too. And um, like move a bunch of stuff. And soon hopefully we're gonna be getting new couches. So switching those out. Um, but those are going to stay for now. But we're going to see what we can do and make a cute little playroom for Tati Girl. So this is part of the order here. Um, this we actually got from Amazon. It's like a little teepee that we're going to use that. Those are diapers from Costco. And here's some more Ikea stuff. And I actually got her paint because I'm going to do her first art activity with her. Um, I'll show you guys how it goes. I want her to just have like a little portfolio of all her artwork. So this one's going to be her first one and we're going to save it and show her later on. And like compare like her six month to her first year to her like two years and she just... We'll get to see her progress. It's really cool. And then what else? We actually got a new mat. This is from Gather. We love it so much already. It just came in the mail yesterday and we opened it this morning. It's super soft and it's leather so you can clean it very easily. And it's a pretty good size for baby to like crawl and sit up and play. So we just took a break from the makeover and this little girl is already hungry, right? So we're going to have eggs with broccoli and a little bit of cheese with a side of kiwi for lunch. So I'm going to make that. And then I'll show you guys how she eats it. She's getting really hungry, but I want to show you guys what I made. So I chopped up a little bit of a ripe kiwi, some yogurt, and eggs with broccoli. I'm just going to put it in front of her. And she has this spoon that helps her eat by herself. So let's see how she does. I actually want to show you guys the yogurt that I use. And it's this one from Trader Joe's. I just tried it like this past week and she's been loving it. And I also love it. It tastes so, so yummy. So I recommend this for anyone who's starting baby led weaning. Um, it's organic and it tastes really good and doesn't have any like crazy ingredients. And her stomach is doing fine with it too. So. She's loving that. Do you love your eggies and your kiwi? Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home. Oh, oh, oh. I hate all this overthinking. Oh, 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 oh. The more I swim, the more I'm singing.
broken hearts and starting fights Turning truth to lies Gotta get up, stop wasting time Yeah, I wanna run off and fly And I tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home oh, oh, oh. I hate all this overthinking Oh, 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 oh from Ikea too and that one was way harder right do you remember building that yeah, one yeah that shit was crazy it was so heavy most of our furniture is actually from Ikea that's from Ikea that was hard to build too actually this is from Ikea and now this so fucking heavy and our rug is from Amazon and our couches need to go <laughs> We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I Like a zombie. <laughs> she has a mohawk. Let's go get her. Good morning, sunshine. How do you sleep? How do you sleep? <laughs> the happiest girl. Are you the happiest girl when you wake up? I like your mohawk. I like your mohawk. Let's turn off the sound machine. Let's turn off the sound machine.
Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on It's the next day and um, last night Tati didn't take her last nap so she had a very cranky night so we didn't get to vlog the rest of the night and um, I didn't get to show you what she ate for dinner and I didn't get to show you the after of our room and also we didn't do the art activity that I wanted her to do yesterday so we're gonna do all that hopefully today and maybe I can show you um, another lunch idea. Okay, we're going to start off from this side of the room. So the first thing you see is this cute little teepee we got from Amazon. It's very easy to build, and the lights came with it. And it came with a mat, but we're going to be washing the mat. So right now, we're, <laughs> we put her um, play mat in there that she had previously, and she loves it. And she's just playing in there. She just woke up from her nap. She's going to be playing in there, and eventually this is going to be like her little reading nook. I'm going to buy cute little fluffy, cozy pillows and put it in there, and she'll be able to like crawl in and out by herself, and I'll put books in there as well. It has a little pocket right there, and then next to it, we put her activity center. She loves this thing, so it's not going anywhere. It's going to stay with us. <laughs> for a while and it has different uh, stages so she's on the first level and then you can like bring it down once she gets taller even further and then our couches like I mentioned before we're hoping to get our new couches in a month or two so these are going to be gone and it's going to be a sectional and a lighter gray which is going to make the room look more airy and just fit with our style and then this we moved here as you saw and then I put the little faux flowers that I got from Ikea by the TV which I'm really liking and then we have the air purifier here because we turn it on daily so that the air can be cleaned out from dust and all that stuff for the baby especially because she's going to be playing on the floor a lot more and then over here we had an empty space and I'm thinking to put a live tall plant. I'm going to be looking for one that I like so we can put it right there. But for now we're putting her little sitter there. Um, and this is my favorite part. We have the mat right in front of her toys so that when she's sitting up and crawling by herself she can kind of like reach for them and play and you know, continue getting more if she wants to. So I'm going to show you each of the shelves. So on top I have the blocks and this, as well as some more faux plants. I got the small ones because I thought it was really cute, like baby size. So she kind of can play with them too if she'd like. And then over here I have a basket also from Amazon. It was a two pack. So it came with the little one and the big one. And for now, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I have her paint that we're going to be using for her activity soon, as well as her nail filer that um, I just left here because I wanted to remember that I have to file her nails down today. And we've been using this filer since day one, and it works really good. It's very easy to use because I was always afraid of using the clippers because I didn't want to cut her. So these came in handy since day one and I love, love, love them. And everything I talk about, I'm gonna link down below. And then we have her Love Every toys right there and right there. Um, and then we have a bookshelf with the stacking rings. And then she has a little basket with, a, with the balls. I like to put that in front of her. And she kind of just like explores each of the textures. Very cool idea. And my shelves are a little bit Montessori based. It's not exact, but I'm, it's just inspired by Montessori. And then I have a basket of all her teethers and rattles. 
as well as her little socks. Didn't find a home for those. And then over here, she has a little basket with all her stuffies, stuffed animals. And then over here, I just have extra toys that need to be hidden. <laughs> um, and over here is her little sitting pillow. And I always have the wipes for her toys and stuff right here. We use the Baby Gannix one just so that I can like wipe everything down every other day so that she has a clean canvas to play with um, and that's it okay Tazi you ready girl so we're gonna use this Tupperware this is from the turkey packs that you buy at the store so once your turkey's out you just kind of wash it rinse it and it's ready to use so that like once the paint is on it you can throw it away and then I cut a piece of paper and put it at the bottom the size of the box and then I use little beads that she's going to be rolling around in there and I'm using the paint and the three colors that I chose are pink green and yellow and then once I put like a drop literally one little drop of each color I'm going to close it up and she's gonna shake it for about a minute so I just wanted to show you guys that's the size of the drop and then one more color she's already excited to do it she wants the paint Okay, so there you go. Patsy, I'm coming, baby girl. Close it up. Closing it up. Okay, there you go. No, don't eat it. You shake it. I just picked it off the floor because she was like done with it and we're gonna open it and see and one more trick uh, we actually tape the paper to the bottom of the box so that the beads can stay on top of the paper because it was going below the paper uh, and now we're gonna just excuse my nails we're in quarantine so Ugh. okay voila this is an activity I actually did at a Montessori school in Manhattan when I was working there. And um, it was like one of my favorite art projects. So I, I thought I'd try it out with her. And some people actually do it in a Ziploc bag also. So I'm gonna be saving this and um, maybe in a couple of months we'll do one more and we'll kind of compare and see how she does. And it'll be cool to show her when she grows up. Right? <laughs> Look how happy she is. I love your hair. You're so pretty. Do you want to see it? Look. You did that. Isn't that so pretty? We can frame it and put it on your little shelf. Do you want to do that? We'll buy a nice little frame for you, okay? You want to go play now? Let's go play. vegetable fried rice and steamed broccoli and we're just gonna pour it in front of her today because she can just eat it and we're also having the same thing except we're having the um beef and broccoli chinese food from trader joe's so we didn't give her the beef she's just having the rice and the beef I mean in the broccoli and that's why baby lead weaning is so nice because she can eat exactly what we're eating and we don't really need to cook extra food for her so it saves a lot of time and she really enjoys it see the horizon turn 